when we think about a clean, just do our best draw a par uh, parallelogram. So the way we're going to define a plane, kind of like a line, we need a point in the plane. We'll call it P naught, just like the point on the line. We are going to have a direction, but this direction is called the normal direction, and it will be perpendicular to every vector in the plane. What I'm going to do is draw any vector in the plane, and this vector is going to go from P naught to some point P. All right, and we're going to decide when this point P is on the plane, when it's not on the plane. There's one important geometric property that determines this, and that is if we have a right angle. The easiest way to determine two vectors are orthogonals, take a dot product. This in the plane. When we take a dot product and we get zero. So when P not P dot N equals zero. So we'll give N, we need to be in three dimensions. So N will be, let's go, I'm going to go capital ABC. This will be somewhat clear to people who would use like, went through linear algebra. So that's what N is, just has three coordinates. We're just going to go with ABC. P naught will go X naught, Y naught, Z naught. And then for regular P, we'll just go X, Y, Z. Put in all of these over here on the left. So P naught P we need to subtract, so that is end minus start. P minus P naught. Dot n. We could distribute the n, but let's not do that yet. So p naught p, easy to compute that vector. P, uh, p minus p naught, since x minus x naught. Comma y minus y naught. Comma z minus z naught. Zero. Is the dot it with n, and that will equal zero. You can change the order, but we won't. Dot a, b, c, and this should be equaling zero. So if a x minus x naught, comma b. Y minus Y not, well, not comma, you're adding these together. Plus C times X minus X naught. We distribute A, B, and C, A, X. Now all we're going to get is another uh, X value here. Uh, so we'll get a constant when we do these products right here. So I'm just going to collect all my constants to the left side. We'll call that letter D. AX plus BY plus CZ equals Z. That would be standard linear form for anybody who took uh, linear algebra. But just to warn you, if you think you know about planes and lines, you are correct. However, you know about them algebraically, we're going to look at them geometrically. So how they're related using lots of cross products, dot products, and in this case, the fact that we had orthogonal, uh, normal, and vector. So we're looking at this a lot more geometrically. All right, so a few of the important equations. I'll probably keep that top one right there. The bottom one's less important unless you're going to do more linear algebra, and you can use linear algebra to solve some of these problems, but I don't necessarily recommend it. So we're going to find equation of a plane through three points. It takes two points to define a line, three to define a plane. Through. 
So we'll go P Q R. Right, better R P Q R. All right. So the first one we go through will be zero one one a zero zero one. Q will be the point two zero zero. R will be the point zero three zero. So we have three points. Draw these three points out. So what we need to do is get a plane and a normal. So we're going to make a triangle. And the way we're going to get a plane, we're going to take, or the way we're going to get a normal is take two vectors. We'll go P, Q, R. So we'll take these vectors U and B. So U is Q minus P. And V will be R minus T. So a good way to think about this is we're rooted, or we're starting at the point P and then going to Q and R. That's all we're doing here. So let's compute, uh, and our normal will be, of course, a cross product of these two. So U equals Q minus T. Which is Q minus T two zero negative one. V is R minus T, which is R minus P zero three negative one. We gotta cross these vectors. Always load the three by three IJK matrix up, spanning across row IJK, row one. U is two, zero, negative one, zero, three, negative one. So I times zero, negative one, three, negative one, minus J, so you're doing plus minus plus, times two, negative one, zero, negative one. Plus K times two zero zero three. We got zero minus zero, so zero I comma. We got negative two, and then make it negative again. It's positive two, and then K will be just six. All right, zero through six. That is the vector, the normal vector right there, and. So it'll stick directly out of the plane. You can pick which of these three vectors you want to be P naught. So I'm going to pick the easiest vector. They're all pretty easy. So P itself has the easiest coordinates, which is 0, 0, 1. So it gets no easier than that. You could use Q or R, it doesn't matter. Good. P is supposed to be any point out there. So it should be X, Y, Z. That's any point in R3 minus P naught, which is a very specific point. So we got X minus 0, Y minus 0, Z minus 1. right there, dot n, which is 0, 2, 6, this is equal to 0, so we have 0x, 2y, plus 6 times z minus 1, that is 0, 2y plus 6 z minus 6, we'll add 6 to the other side, there we go, that is the equation of our 
plane right there.